Okay, so we look at Dirt 3 at 21 by 9. Dirt Rally was my first introduction to the Dirt series, and I loved it. The brutal rally driving was a very challenging but rewarding experience. Dirt 3, however, is a very different beast. The two games feel worlds apart in terms of driving style and hardly part of the same series. Regardless though, Dirt 3 is still a ton of fun. But first, let's cover Dirt 3's ultra-wide support. This is easy. Dirt 3 is one of the most adaptive games ever. Throw it on any monitor setup, and it usually finds a way to correctly display on it. It's lovely. So for a 21x9 screen, it has zero issues catering to our needs. Gameplay correctly shows off more on the sides of the screen in all camera positions. The HUD shifts out of the way to the sides or locks to the center where applicable. Perfect. The main menu and in-game menus all just extend to the sides to show more of the funky background scene, whilst locking all menu elements to the center like it should be. The rather annoying thing about the menus though is they have black bars on the top and bottom for no reason, but this is a gameplay feature and not a 21x9 specific thing, so technically they are working perfectly. Cutscenes are precisely the same as menus, and so is the replay feature, where you can rewind time when you mess up whilst driving, and I just wish that none of these views had black bars, it's really annoying. Performance wise, Dirt 3 runs very well, it's a good looking game but nothing spectacular by today's standards, and so should run very nicely on a wide range of rigs thanks to good PC optimization. I'm on a GTX 1080 Ti at 3440 by 1440 and can stay over 200 FPS at every moment, so yeah, this setup is way overkill for this, and this was on the highest possible graphic settings. On a side note, one gripe I do have with this game are the superfluous menu animations that make navigating them tedious, as you're constantly waiting for a long, unskippable animation to play out before you can get through to the next menu screen. Menus are the most boring part of a game, let us get to the gameplay as quickly as possible. Gameplay wise, it's certainly a more arcadey style of driving as opposed to the realism found in titles like Dirt Rally or Project Cars, yet less arcadey than its predecessors, a kind of middle ground. You have a lot more leeway when handling, you're not punished for moderate mistakes, and you can throw your car around with far more agility. This will absolutely sit well with those of you who don't like the realistic driving sims. That said, there is a lot of potential customization if you're prepared to go through the time of setting it up like you want. You can set up gear ratio, downforce, suspension, ride height, differential, brake bias, and of course you can alter the assists, like things like stability control and corner braking. Dirt 3, as you could probably infer from the name, focuses on off-road driving. There are a massive number of classic rally cars to choose from, and a ton of maps to drive through. There are also five race types to play, Land Rush, Rally Cross, Rally, Trailblazer, and Gymkhana. Each one brings a very different style of driving, but mostly it's going to be along the usual lines of the racing styles that you find across all racing games in general. And like most driving games, cars take damage from collisions, though damage visuals are a bit limited. So Dirt 3 in many ways is a direct competitor to Dirt Rally due to the heavy leaning on rally driving, but both actually provide a very different rally driving experience. If you want realism, then go with Dirt Rally. If you want that arcade driving handling, then Dirt 3 is a good option. That said, with Dirt 4 now out, it probably would be better to go with that instead of going with Dirt 3, but at the same time, you can pick up Dirt 3 for a nominal price, unlike Dirt 4, so it's a dirt cheap, no pun intended, option for those strapped for cash. Overall, Dirt 3 is a solid racing game. It is, however, getting dated with more advanced racing titles having been released since it launched, so potentially it might struggle to win over attention the older it gets. That doesn't take away from the fact, though, that it certainly had quite a golden few years around its launch as one of the favourite racing titles around. And with a perfect WAF score of 5, with its perfect 21x9 support, it's always going to be a joy to play on our ultra-wide screens. So I hope that gives you some information how the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel or the WAF website. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description, and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.
Easy left. 